yesterday we started reading Thunder Rose. We talked about the type of character that she is. And so today we're going to finish up this story and we're going to get into character interaction and how she speaks and acts towards the other characters in the story. So we last left off when Rose was upset by the fact that there was a tornado. And we have our text evidence here. Suddenly, a rotating column of air came whirling and swirling around, picking up everything in its path. It sneaked up on Rose. Whoa! Whoa there! Now just hold on a minute, Rose called out to the storm. And then... It says, you don't know. Let's see. Oh, this riled up Rose so much, she became only the only two-legged tempest to walk the western plains. You don't know who you're feeling with, Rose called out, fooling with, Rose called out to the storm. And so she's telling the storm, clearly she's mad at the storm, so she's very upset. And then we come over here, and it splits into two. So now she's really upset. So that turning column split, and now they were two. They were coming in, coming at her from opposite directions. So let's see what she does. Is this the fork in the road with which I have my final supper? Will this be my first and my last ride of the roundup? She queried herself in the depths of her heart. Her contemplations brought her little relief as she witnessed the merciless, the cataclysmic efforts of a windstorm bent on her disaster. Then the winds joined hands and cranked and churned a path heading straight toward her. Calmly, Rose spoke out loud to the storm as she stood alone to face the rack and ruin, the multiplying devastation. I could ride at least one of you out to the end of time, but I've got this fortunate feeling rumbling deep in the pit of me. And I see what I am to do with it this day, Rose said, smiling. So pausing here, what sentence lets us know that Rose is worried? Here we have her asking, will this be my last, my first and last ride of the roundup? So that lets us know that she's concerned about the fact that she may not survive. Devastation. Devastation is terrible damage or complete destruction. The winds belted at a rumbling pitch. Rose squarely faced that storm. Come and join me, winds. She opened her arms wide as if to embrace the torrent. She opened her mouth as if she were planning to take a good long drink. But from deep inside her, she heard a melody so real and sweet and true. And when she lifted her heart, she unleashed her song of thunder. It was a sight to see. Rose making thunder and lightning rise and fall to the ground at her command, at the sound of her song. Oh, how her voice rang out so clear and real and true. It rang from the mountaintops. It filled up the valleys. It filled up the valleys. It flowed like a healing river in the breathing air around her. Those tornadoes, calmed by her song, stopped their churning masses and raged no more. And gentle as a baby's bath, a soft, drenching, and soaking rain fell. And Rose realized that by reaching into her own heart to bring forth the music that was there, she had even touched the hearts of the clouds. The story of Rose's amazing ability spread like wildfire, far and wide. And as sure as thunder follows lightning, and sun follows rain, wherever you see a spark of light flash across a heavy steel-gray sky, listen to the sound of thunder, and think of Thunder Rose and her song. That mighty, mighty song pressing on the bull's eye that was set at the center of her heart. So Rose's actions with the, these tornadoes shows that she's what? extremely brave right looking back on this last sentence here but i've got this fortunate feeling rumbling deep in the pit of me 
and I see what I am to do with this with it this day, Rose said, smiling. What is the most likely reason that Rose is smiling? She's saying this smiling. Because we know that she's caught in two tornadoes. She's starting to feel devastated. Yet she starts to smile. So the reason for that is she had an idea. It says here that, but from deep inside her, she heard a melody so sweet and true. And when she lifted her heart, she unleashed her song of thunder. It was a sight to see Rose making thunder and lightning right and rise and fall to the ground at her command at the sound of her song. So that is why she's smiling in the midst of all of this craziness, because she has a plan. By the end of the story, what can we, the readers, conclude about Rose's abilities? And what I mean by conclude, what is that in thought that we can come up with about Rose's abilities? We can conclude that her abilities are powerful and impactful, especially since our text evidence says Whenever you see a spark of light flash across the heavy, still gray sky, listen to the sound of thunder and think of Thunder Rose and her song. So that lets us know that her powers and abilities are going on forever. Again, this is a tall tale, just an exaggerated story, something that's completely made up. It is fiction, which is fake. And the whole purpose the author's purpose of this is to entertain people with a creative way um, to come up with how things like lightning or thunder were created and i believe the author's message here is to believe in yourself and know that you can do anything you put your mind to